Hello, this is Transformers Fan G138, and I'm here with a video review of Transformers Timelines, or Collector's Club, uh, Subscription Service 2.0, Fistatron, or aka Iron Fist. Um, Fist Iron is also another good name for him. Um, basically, he's a wrecker. Um, weapons in your weapons engineer. The uh, bio car that came with him told uh, suggested his weapons building hobby was a, an illegal hobby, and he used his pen name that he used in the last stand of the Wreckers comic as his um, alias. Although I'd rather go with the last stand of the Wreckers bio, but whatever. Um, so this uses the Transformers uh, Fall Cybertron Swindle Mold, actually specifically the remold for Roadbuster, uses the same head. Um, and this thing, uh, the only thing difference is it doesn't come with the big gun that uh, Roadbuster came with, but same head um, came comes with Swindle's weapon, which is kind of cool. Um, so yeah. And I got this little box here. Uh, this one did not come with a little mini con. Uh, Barricade did. Um, so I'll get um, reviewing Barricade and his little mini con next. I really am a fan of Barricade. Anyway, so a uh, pretty nice figure. Um, it's okay. It's not my favorite mold by any means. Um, in fact, I think it's kind of a lousy transformer in general. Although it does combine. Although I guess you could actually, for example, take Whirl, Whirl out now that Whirl has a proper mode and substitute this guy in for Whirl and have two of the same combiner in the uh, Rutgers combiner set if you wanted to. Um, I'm not going to go through and show you that mode, because he's the same as Roadbuster. Or, uh, the many versions of Swindle I have. So, um, overall, rolls okay. Not so well on this, but any carpeted or any, even a sheet of paper he'd roll on perfectly fine. He does have the friction pegs back here. Uh, the wheels are just held on by a clip snap. The front wheels are pin, which means they rotate generally better than these. Um, anyway, so it's nice, he's got the uh, pink headlights, pinkish purple headlights, which he should have. He's got a nice Autobot symbol up front. He's got a lot of silver paint app up here. Uh, really bright silver, I like it. It's, um, no, and then uh, same down here. Uh, he's also got silver uh, caps on his wheels. He's got this nice uh, weird transmutate a little bit darker than transmutate, almost teal green. And he's got this uh, kind of flat blue as well, which they match really well. They paint. The paint to the um, plastic is fantastic. You almost can't tell unless that whole thing is painted. I think this whole thing has been interesting. Yeah, okay. So the feet are actually painted. Good to know. That means the paint is really well done. Uh, he's got these orange things. Okay, whatever. Um, moving on. I've talked about for five minutes. He has have this little paint blip here, but the swindle mold had the exact same paint blip, so I think that's the, um, literally the exact same paint issue. I think that's mold issue, not a, uh, or a factory production issue, not a, uh, whatever. So, anyway, transformation. We'll flip, start by flipping this up, back here. Unpegging the arms. 
bring these out and up snap those into place flip this around pull this up this is where it can get a little tricky because this part likes to snap in way better than any other version of this mold I have and this whole top piece is flimsy so I'm worried about stress marks ah there we go it's coming out easier and easier every time so I'm a little bit happy about that so first fl flip this all the way up grab the whole torso spin it around untab the legs and you have the legs done now I'll come up to the upper body here swing around the arms flip these panels around to the front then we'll uh, come up here flip up the head slide that into place this whole thing will come down and rotate these down these will tab into these tabs here and he's still got the same issues as swindle for example this arm not staying up but no minor details okay major details then his gun hits into his hand and there you have him or Fistatron or Iron Fist in robot mode or Fist Iron whatever you want to call him but uh, he's here it works he transforms he combines um, overall very nice shelf piece, forward facing. Backwards, it's still the same issue as Swindle or any other mold. Um, also, these things are supposed to rotate, but uh, because the arms are actually painted, and these are also painted, I don't want to uh, stress the paint by spinning these around. I don't. I do not want to uh, scratch the paint at all. So they're staying down. They can be like cool little guns instead of spoilers. I don't care. They're not moving on mine. Uh, he's got nice painted eyes, head rotates, side to side, a little bit forward and dip back, not much. Uh, ball and socket joint here, a little hinge here, same on this side. Um, wheel spin, these things move, so watch out. Ball and socket joint elbow works well. Hip swivel, doesn't happen often these days, but it is in this one due to transformation. Uh, ball and socket hip, very uh, shallow upper leg, and a over 90 degree angle bend, as well as a swivel. And the toes do move a little bit due to transformation. And he is one of the more stable ones, just because of the size of the uh, feet, and the fact that he's designed as a leg in uh, the combiner. So overall, not a bad little figure. Um... Yep. He is awarded a 6.2 on my scale. That's out of 10. For those of you who don't watch, or don't watch my video reviews often, um, 6.2 out of 10. It's okay. It's got issues. Just, you know, whatever. This still rounds out some of my records. Um, and sooner than later, the um, uh, Roadbuster mold will be replaced by the Deluxe class, and this guy will be going up on the shelf. Um, he already is up there, but he kind of blocks the current Roadbuster, but the new Roadbuster is tall enough that it does not matter. So we should have that sooner than later. That will be here next month, so I'm excited about that. Um, if you have any questions about Fistatron here, or, uh, aka Iron Fist, uh, let me know. Oh, uh, he got dinged on the color, 
he is supposed to be an off-white color. Um, this is more like skin color. Um, a little bit lighter would have been nice, but it it's not terrible. It, it works. And he does still have pink on him, so this thing works. He's okay. He, he's good. Um, basically, if you're wondering about his character, that's a ja he was a Japanese character. Um, he first floated on my radar when he showed up in Last Stand of the Wreckers, which was a fantastic story. Um, okay, so that pretty much concludes my video review. If you have any questions about them, post comments down below or send me a message. I will answer them. If you have any requests for video reviews, also post in a comment down below or send me a message. And I will do those up if I have the figure. If I do not, I won't be. And if you say, um, when I get the figure, don't assume I'm going to go out and buy it. Um, I'm not going to get a lot of the Age of Extinction stuff. I may get Drift because um, he does have swords, um, both versions. I'm considering it. I'm not sold yet. Um, and I think that pretty much covers it. Um, so, yeah, I will not be attending BotCon this year. I wish I was, but I am excited and I can't wait to see what else happens. So, see you around. Thanks for watching. Next up is Barricade.